featured plant is called goat's beard, also known as Arungus diochus. So if you look behind me here, this plant is not a shrub. It's actually an herbaceous perennial. You might be confused because it's so tall. They grow from one to two meters in height. So every winter, this plant dies back down to the ground and regrows again very quickly in the spring. So it's quite a quick grower. If you're out walking along stream banks or roadsides like this one I'm standing on here, you'll often find goat's beard. It's what's known as an edge species. If we want to identify this plant, we can look at a few different features. One of which is the leaves. So the leaves are compound. The one I'm holding here is actually a whole leaf all on its own. It's made up of many leaflets. It's called thrice pinnate, meaning it branches three times. So here's the first branching, then it branches a second time, and it branches a third time. So each one of these are leaflets. The leaflets themselves are not hairy on top, but they're slightly fuzzy underneath. They also have toothed margins. So you'll notice they have uh, pointed teeth right along the edges, and they're sort of a little bit paler in color underneath. The flowers on this plant are actually quite interesting as well. This plant is dioecious, which means it has separate male and female flowers on separate plants. If we look at the flowers on this plant, we can see they're just coming out, starting to develop. Later on, when they mature, they will be hanging panicles of white. So they sort of look like sprays of foam, or if you're really imaginative, maybe like a goat's beard. <laughs> That's where it gets its name. The older flowers, once they're mature, turn to a nice kind of brownish color and are long hanging panicles, very distinctive from a distance. So look for the compound leaves, the hanging panicles of flowers, and the fact that it's non-woody. It's an herbaceous perennial. And that's how you'll know you're looking at today's featured plant, the goat's beard, Aruncus diochus.